across America time. Many people have many ideas for making the world a better place, but sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of compassion for the fellow next door. In a small town in Indiana, the entire community has taken that ethic to heart by embracing one person in their midst. CNN's Larry Woods travels across America to find out more. This is 64-year-old John Crager. He has Down syndrome, but he's seldom down. And if it takes a village to raise a child, or a man-child, the folks in Cherubusco, Indiana can be proud of how they've helped mold this unique man. If something would happen to him, this town would grieve. You can be in a horrible mood, and he can make you smile, and he can make you laugh. And it's part of our... Day in, day out living. Hi, right, John. All right. Yep. Tis virtue, not birth, that makes us noble, said the poet. For this slightly aging nobleman with the arthritic knees and waning vision, the red carpet is always out. If he doesn't show up, you know, it's like almost a part of your day missing. Now, he's always make believing happy. I've never seen him in a sad mood. I don't see how anyone could be cruel to him or not like him. Why, John is such a familiar fixture in Cherubusco that even his garbled speech is deciphered by most everyone. Two more layers, you get new pants in two days? Well, can I have your old ones? Yeah. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> At birth, doctors predicted John would not live beyond his teens. He's outlived both parents and a sister. Today, he lives on a quiet side street with nephew Dan Ferguson. He's just a good, loving person. He's the strength of this community, if you want to know the real truth. Well, good morning, John. Good morning. His work ethic and weekly routine is legendary around town. Each morning, he stops by John Diffendaffer's body shop to earn a few dollars, tidying up the place, putting tools back where they belong. The two men often go for hours without speaking, but the bond is strong. I don't know as much as we look out for him as... Uh... Maybe he looks out for us. John is a favorite of the Cherubusco PD. Captain Cliff Smith started taking John to coffee on a daily basis 20 years ago. At the Ramble Inn, never without his honorary police hat and shirt, he is just one of the boys from Busco, a lovable target for teasing, who, by the way, knows how to tweak his macho buddies. John, how many girlfriends you got? Uh, he lost one. Yeah. Did he? Remember, girlfriend. Mike's your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, Mike's your girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whitley County Sheriff Mike Schrader, sitting to John's left, took it all in fraternal stride. In tune to much that's around him, here John chats briefly with the parents of Sarah Gilbert, who also has Down syndrome. Sarah, 33, and John share mutual birthdays. I asked her why the town cared so much for her friend. We all love him. He's very special. And hardly a day goes by that John doesn't stop by the Cherubusco News, an important stop on his appointed rounds. For one thing, he earns a little money emptying the trash cans, doing what he can to keep the office clean. He also gets to sit and talk with his favorite girlfriend, editor Viv Rossworm, who's very patient with John and has known him since she was a teenager. Where do you work tomorrow, John? Yeah, we're not maybe. At the hardware store? Yeah, maybe. Ms. Rossworm and her staff print weekly all the news they think is vital for the town's 1,800 residents. John, she says, often provides insider info. He'll tell us when there's been a bad accident. Are, um, he'll tell me when someone's sick or they're in the hospital or if they've had a heart attack because he keeps up with the EMS radio. So he gets some legitimate tips. He hears a story, he remembers it, he comes in and tells us the next day. He also lives in a world filled with pretend, like auctioning off imaginary treasures. Or, sensing the hardware store is about to be robbed, races over to disarm the dastardly hombre. <laughs> Within seconds, he has his man in handcuffs, and then it's off to jail. 
In any other community, he would be considered a buffoon. In this community, he's Johnny Krieger, number one citizen. Back row, two, three, PD. Yeah, John's working now. Okay, clear. See you tomorrow, Sarge. Okay, my son. Oh, if only to better understand him, said a visitor new to the town. But we do, came the reply. We do. Hey, Woods, always introducing us to the best people on the planet. Good to see you. Good to see you. That, what, a, what a great, great story. And, you know, one thing that comes to mind, um, uh, you know, my perception of Down syndrome was that, that the long-term prognosis was not good and that uh, someone to live at, to the age of 64, that's unusual, isn't it? That is. That is unusual. Medically, uh, that's, that's a healthy lifespan. But I, I have a, a take on that, and it's, uh, it's strictly pop uh, medical science, if you will. But... First of all, he had wonderful, loving, doting parents. Uh, when, they, when they passed away, there was a great deal of concern in the community. Well, will John be institutionalized? And then, of course, the, the other members of the family said, no, no way. We're not putting him in an institution. And then the town. The town makes John feel important. They, they give him a, a, a raison d'etre, a need, you know, to be around. They keep him busy. He keeps them, uh, you know, entertained by his, by his love and compassion. They feed off of one another. They have ennobled his life. And every morning, when John gets up to go into town on his rounds, you know, he knows he's got something to do. He, he, he feels important. They make him feel important. That's very necessary to all of us, I think. I noticed the business card you had there, and I saw his name on it. Oh, John is a man of many professions. Uh, he does everything. I mean, he makes uh, That's one of, the, one of the beautiful things about Cherubusco. You can go right down Main Street and hit everything. Wait a minute, I've, I've, this business card, I've got, I've, got to re, I've got to turn to this. Here are John's professions. He's a deputy sheriff, he's a policeman, he's a reporter at the Cherubusco News. He's probably overqualified for that. He, he works at the paint and body shop, he works at Shore's hardware store, he's a medic, insurance agent, works with the fire department, Papa's Pizza, CNA tool shop. He's also a retired preacher, but here's, here's the one I love the best. On this card, Cheryl Bus goes all around nice guy. <laughs> that oh. Isn't that one? Viv, uh, the, the uh, editor of the paper, gave him that title, and uh, he'll, he'll draw that card out uh, at, at the drop of a hat. I, I think one of the, the, the more priceless moments in that piece, which was such a great piece, was, was the little pantomime moment there, and that was spontaneous, right? It just you happened, know, as you call them? Absolutely. There's something about that that's, uh, that, that's rather uh, engaging because uh, in a conversation, John will, John will get up and He'll walk over the corner and he'll get on his uh, uh, pantomime uh, cop. Uh, he'll talk to the cops. He'll make a call. He'll go out. He'll, he directs traffic. If you jaywalk in Cherubusco, he'll give you, he'll give you a ticket. He'll, he'll, he'll stop you, <laughs> strangers and all. Uh, Norm Decker was sitting in the barbershop. Uh, uh, a guy was getting a haircut. John races through there, and uh, he says, oh, read, read, read. I got to go. And he, you hear the gunfire, pow, pow. He comes back out and like he's holding somebody, you know? Yeah. And he told Norm, you're about to be robbed. And the guy was sitting there looking and he said, who is that? <laughs> and he said, he said, don't bother him. That's, he said, that's the police chief. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, John's pantomiming is also, I think, addressing the fact that, uh, you know, in a former life, John probably hung out with Don Quixote and Pancho Sanza. He was on King Arthur's court. He was the, he was the sheriff of Dodge City. He has a great sense and need to protect things, protect that town. And you ought to see him, uh, he's altogether a different person when he's around uh, females in, in, the, in the newsroom and he's around the cops. Around the cops, he's just one of the guys. Do you notice how he fed that thing back? But around, the, around, around ladies, he's just as nice and polite and sweet. He's, a, he's altogether a different person. Yes, he does live in a fantasy world, but uh, he also lives in the real world. And John is very smart, very, he might not be able to articulate things, but he picks up everything, and, and he, he, he never forgets it. That's a beautiful song. All right, Larry, thanks so much for introducing Thank you. us to him. Up next on CNN Sunday Morning, your latest weather forecast. Stay with us.